not to, to, to shy it down. Yeah. It's just such a wonderful experience just being, just knowing that such a thing can possibly happen, you know? Yeah. And I'd like to, I'd like to have anybody that, that truly knows my story to, to be inspired, to truly know that no matter what, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, you still have a chance and you still can make it in, in life in whatever you have a your passion about, whatever sport that you like, whatever you're doing in life, that you can still make it in life. You know what? Talking about stories and history, uh, I mentioned to you that I was reading some stuff about you growing up, um, about your father and yourself and your sisters. Is that story true? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely true. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a lot of a lot of my, like the stories of my background was something that like I tried to I tried to erase, you know, because because like that history was very tough, and um and like it's 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 moments in life where though like like you're not supposed to talk about this, you're not yeah. supposed to talk about that, and like you know, it's, but like I've grown beyond that uh beyond that experience. And I've known that that this type of experience is what is what truly motivates and inspires uh, people. So I'm not afraid to, to speak about it. Yeah, for sure. And you know what? It's it's very interesting because reading that everything kind of connected because I was, of course, in the post fight interview. Um, you mentioned uh, Mexico, Guadalajara, you know, all that stuff. So it it started all to make sense, but. You know, can you can you tell us a little bit about that experience in Mexico? That's where you started boxing, right? Yeah, that's correct. Um, I started boxing in Mexico at a time in my life where I lost everything. I lost my identity as a person, as a human being. I had absolutely nothing to gain, nothing to 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 give to this world. I was a young I was a young person, but at the same time, I, I was going through old person problems. Um, my father was uh, was on the run uh, from the law, and me and my sister had to flee from from uh, from you know from the country. Um, and in that time period, you know that was some of my my darkest days. You yeah. know where you like when you're going through those type of dark days. Um, I mean, especially at that particular time, and it's it's horrible to say, yeah. but even. Even suicide is not really a bad idea, you know. At the time, it's like it's not that bad of an idea. Like it's either we're going to die here, or die right now on my terms, or, or just wait for somebody to take us out, you know, because it's it's a very dangerous, uh, uh, dangerous place that we're in. We're not, like, and it's not just the Mexico thing, but it's it's the uh, the field of a uh, of business that my father was in as like as a kingpin drug dealer. It's a it's a serious business, you know, and and you have to have a lot of a lot of guards, a lot of uh, security, and it's not easy um, being in a, such a hostile environment where it's, it's very easy. You can easily be, you know, kidnapped or picked up or whatever, and you, you just kind of just live um, on a prayer. Wow, amazing stuff, man. Yeah, we love you. Okay, you already know I'm saying I'm going to Hola amigos, soy Juan Francisco Gallo Estrada, quiero, mandar, quiero mandar un saludo para mis amigos de Contra las Cuerdas, que se muchas ganas, un abrazo, muchas gracias. Shout out to Against the Ropes, you know what my, mine is, let's box bitches, it's almost fight night. To Against the Ropes, thank you for the support, keep doing your thing, you're doing, you're doing a great job, so thank you and best wishes. Huge, huge, huge shout out to Against the Ropes, Against the Ropes.